integrity is a lifelong priority for people living with a spinal cord injury. This is because a spinal cord injury leaves you at high risk for developing pressure sores. Pressure sores can start small and turn into a serious problem. They can keep you in bed for weeks or even months. Untreated pressure sores can lead to other medical complications. The most devastating are autonomic dysreflexia, loss of a limb, or even death. The key to skin integrity is prevention. After a spinal cord injury, you'll need to spend time every day paying careful attention to your skin. And as you first adjust to life with a spinal cord injury, you'll need to learn new skills to keep your skin healthy, like doing a skin check and pressure relief. The skin is the largest organ in the body, and it is just as important as your heart or your lungs. It does a few different things. It protects the tissues and organs underneath from moisture, foreign substances, and bacteria. It helps to control body temperature and fluid levels. And it allows us to feel touch, pressure, temperature, and pain. Our skin gets the food and oxygen it needs to stay healthy from blood vessels. The skin has an amazing ability to repair itself, but it can be damaged by prolonged pressure. If pressure cuts off the blood supply to the skin for an extended period of time, this can lead to damage to the skin and underlying structures. A spinal cord injury can affect the skin in a number of ways. Prolonged sitting or lying in one position can lead to pressure damage, especially over bony areas. Next, you may not notice when your skin is being damaged by pressure, burning, or freezing. Finally, your skin can be more vulnerable to break down from swelling, too much or too little moisture, and friction. Many people experience swelling in their legs and feet. This causes the skin to stretch, making it more fragile. Think of what happens when you blow up a balloon. As it gets bigger, the rubber stretches, making it weaker. Wet skin is fragile. It can be caused by sweating, failing to dry off completely after a shower, or problems with bladder or bowel accidents. Winter weather can cause dry skin that cracks easily. Muscle spasms, poor positioning, and sliding in a wheelchair or in bed can result in skin damage from rubbing or friction. A person with a spinal cord injury needs to give his or her skin special attention every day. Your best line of defense is to check your own skin. If you are unable to check your skin independently, make sure you can direct someone else to check it properly. Over time, you can keep your skin healthy with regular pressure relief, good hygiene, keeping a proper moisture balance, avoiding friction, and quitting smoking. A pressure sore is any redness or break in the skin caused by too much pressure for too long. In the same way that pinching a garden hose cuts off the water supply, pressure applied to the skin can cut off the blood supply, leading to damage. A sore, sometimes called a pressure ulcer, can happen on any part of your body where pressure is applied to the skin. Typically, sores appear on areas called bony prominences, where the bones are close to the skin without much padding. For example, the shoulders, elbows, hips, buttocks, and ankles. In these areas, the bones put pressure on the skin from the inside so that the hard surface on the outside can pinch off the blood circulation. Be careful. Pressure sores can form easily, often quickly, and for reasons you may not have thought about. Buttons or zippers, shoes, braces, or any hard object that puts pressure on your skin can cause a sore. Straps on leg bags and parts of your wheelchair can also cause a sore. Even sitting on the couch without repositioning and pressure relief can cause a sore. People often underestimate the seriousness of a red spot and delay getting help so that they end up with a serious problem. It's important to realize that pressure sores are like icebergs. What you see on the surface is often much smaller than the damaged area under the skin. 
When you see what looks like a red spot, take it seriously and get the help you need.